60 mm. million dollar <laughs> man. Oh, so it may not uh -oh. come when you want it, but it'll be there right on time. Dang. That's what they say in the church <laughs> now. Well. Was it the right move for the Cowboys to make Dak Prescott the highest paid? Let's get to it. How about them Cowboys? Angry Cowboys stand on your town the line. What's going on, Cowboys Nation and angry Cowboys fans around the world? Y'all know who it is. It's your man, the angry Cowboys fan. Letting it be known that you can change your look. You can change your set. You can switch the clowns up in the clown car. But over at the facility on FS1, you still have a circus. On yesterday's episode of The Facility, Emmanuel Acho, Shady McCoy, Chase Daniels, and James Jones discuss if paying Dak Prescott $60 million a year for the next four years was the right move for our Dallas Cowboys. So we're going to get into the three clips that I got for y'all, and then y'all know what we're going to do after that. We're going to come back and unpack this raw and uncut. So, angry Cowboys fans... Let's go ahead and take a listen to LaShawn Shady McCoy. I'm going to say it's the right move, right? Dak Prescott did have a MVP type of caliber year yep. last year. Um, all pro, hard, yep. to hard to do. So I don't see nothing wrong with that. That's what the market is. The market is the next quarterback should jump over the next one, right? And they look at the market, you got Joe Burrow, Jordan Love, Trevor Lawrence, and Tua. He should jump over them guys. Only thing with Dak Prescott is... And I hate they got to be a butt. Mm. <laughs> but it's a butt. We know what he's going to give you. So you're making him the highest paid quarterback of all time and all that, right? And you give him all this money, but we know what to expect. Yeah. 12 wins. Mm -hmm. Good season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe an all-pro. <laughs> but we get in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. that, that Prescott is not there no more. We watch that over and over and over again. He gets there and he don't win. And when he is getting there, he looks the worst. Mm -hmm. The Niners game. The Packers game. I could keep going forever. I mean, let's talk about this for a second, though. Where's my notes at? You <laughs> gotta make sure he gets his no, point No, in. no, no. I, I don't want to hate on Dak, yeah. but a guy like um, Troy Aitman. Yeah. He's really, really good for the Cowboys, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's the most Three talented. Times super but he's really, really good. Yeah. Very and, good. And, and he's making more than his whole career in one, one year. year. I swear, Angry Cowboys fans, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can change up the set, you can rearrange the talking heads that are on said set, you can get rid of the distractions in the workplace situationships. It still doesn't mean that LaShawn Shady McCoy will come to work prepared and will come to work with a legitimate take. This is something that he has said on numerous occasions and is still filled with Dallas Cowboys hatred. He did say something right, though, and I'm shocked that I have to say that. But he said that the Dallas Cowboys should have gotten the deal done already. But jumping into the next clip that I got for you, Emmanuel Acho gives his two cents when it comes to the topic of the Dallas Cowboys finally paying Dak Prescott. So let's take a listen to what Acho had to say, and then we're going to come back and talk about it. Roll a clip. If you wanted to pay Dak Prescott Ooh. and make him the highest pay, why not do that three months ago? and do it for $55 million instead of doing it for $60 million. If you want to give Dak Prescott $60 million, good, you should. Why not do it at the end of the season when you're more sure about the money that you're going to give him and about the player that he is? You've already seen him for eight years, but maybe at the end of the season he would do what Jared Goff did for the Lions and take the Cowboys further than they've gone in 30 years. Paying Dak Prescott was absolutely the right move. It was simply the wrong time. You could have paid Dak Prescott three months ago and saved five million. You could have paid CeeDee Lamb four months ago and saved four million. But instead, you make it bad for Dak. You make it bad for your fan base. You make it bad for you, Jerry Jones. I do believe right move, absolutely the right move. But James Chase, wrong time. Yeah, so well, duh, Emmanuel Acho. Everyone who is pro Dak Prescott has been saying this the entire offseason. The Dallas Cowboys should have done this way earlier than right before the first week of the regular season. The deal should have been done at the end of last season. But at this point, 
We're beating a dead horse, Emmanuel Acho. The deal is done, and I wish everyone would move the hell on from it. Is that something that y'all can do, Acho, or will it hurt your bottom line? Now, getting into the last clip that I got because I skipped over what Chase Daniels had to say. James Jones talks about why it was a good move for the Dallas Cowboys to secure Dak Prescott for the future. So let's take a listen to what James Jones has to say, and then we're going to come back and unpack this raw and uncut. So, Cowboys Nation, let's take a listen to James Jones. Absolutely. Um, We always talk, when you have a franchise quarterback, we always talk relevance, right? So, yes, I understand Dak Prescott in the playoffs. He has not performed well in the playoffs. But with Dak Prescott under center, the Cowboys are relevant. They 12 wins, 12 wins, 12 wins. They give themselves a shot to be in the playoffs. It's a couple quarterbacks that's not good in the playoffs, but their teams are relevant. This was a must-do for the Dallas Cowboys. You signed your franchise wide receiver. You got to make sure you lock up your franchise quarterback to at least give yourself a chance. And maybe one of these years he breaks through. As usual... James Jones is telling the truth. He's speaking facts. He's telling no lies. With Dak Prescott under center, the Dallas Cowboys have been to the playoffs more often than not. This was my argument when it came to the Dak Prescott haters. Why would you not pay the person that has been at the helm for the past three seasons where your team has gone 12 and 5? Three consecutive seasons. It makes absolutely no sense to me, but... Y'all ready for my raw and uncut? Y'all ready? Let's get it. Cowboys Nation, this is the first time that I've watched the facility on FS1. I swear, I get deja vu when I watch the facility. The only things that are different is the color scheme of the set and the fact that Joy Taylor turned into a white man. (laughs) Nah, I'm just playing with y'all, but for the most part, the facility is only speak 2.0. We're going to get the exact same thing that we're accustomed to when they were bashing the Dallas Cowboys last year on speak. We're going to get the same treatment here on the facility. With this topic, I honestly thought that this headline would be completely behind us, Cowboys Nation. It's been since Sunday morning where Dak Prescott signed his new deal, and here it is Tuesday, and we're talking about the talking heads on the new FS1 show continuing to beat a dead horse. The man is paid, y'all. You can climb your happy asses up out of his pockets and continue to live your lives. Also, due to the Dallas Cowboys record in the playoffs, It gives LaShawn, Shady McCoy, and some of the Dak haters a leg to stand on because they're somewhat right, angry Cowboys fans. While Dak Prescott has been under center, the Dallas Cowboys have a 2-5 record. The Dallas Cowboys have been to the playoffs seven out of eight years that Dak Prescott has been the starting quarterback for the year. Doesn't that say anything other than he can't get it done? I remember when we would miss the playoffs every other year under Tony Romo, but Cowboys Nation still had Tony Romo's back. The cries to get rid of Tony Romo weren't as loud as they were for Dak Prescott. Why is that, angry Cowboys fan family? The one thing that LaShawn Shady McCoy got right, and I wish the Dak haters would understand this, the market is the market. If the market dictates a player to get a certain amount, that player is going to either get that amount or something north of said amount. No matter what the fans say, no matter what the talking heads say, no matter what us NFL content creators say, the market is the market and players will get their damn money. Only a hater would disagree with the fact that a player is getting his money. Only a hater would campaign against a player getting his money. Not one of us capitalizes off a player signing for less or taking a team-friendly discount. People can say that it frees up money in order to attain players in free agency, but if you're a Dallas Cowboy diehard fan, you know that Jerry and Steven Jones do not spend all types of money during free agency. So my advice for these players is to get Every single penny you feel you deserve. Get your bread because you damn sure deserve it. This has been your man, the Angry Cowboys fan. What do you think about the new show on FS1 called The Facility? Do you see it as Speak 2.0? How do you feel about Dak Prescott getting his bread finally? Let's have an adult conversation in the comment section. If you're digging the content and want to help get it out to even more Dallas Cowboys fans, 
Drop a like on this video and share it with your friends who are Cowboys fans. If you are DC for life and want to cheer on our Dallas Cowboys with like-minded Dallas Cowboys fans, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I go live, release a video, podcast episode, or Madden 25 and College Football 25 gameplay. The Dak Prescott Pocket Watching event is officially over. The deal has been done and there's no way of going back on said deal. It's time for the talking heads and the Dak haters to dry your tears and move forward. We are. This has been your man, the Angry Cowboys fan, and I'm out. Cowboys fan, you done made it through the entire video. But if you want more content, you can definitely go to this video right here. Or if you want the latest episode of the Angry Cowboys Fan Podcast, you can go right here. But whatever you do, like, share, and subscribe to the channel, but remain DC for life.